seven hours, and I'm still feeling the residual effects of this damn thing. Madhouse Innovations ain't clowning around. What's happening, guys? Hope your day is going well. Today, we're going to review Madhouse Innovations Lean Appeal Pro. We're going to go over the ingredients so you know what you're putting in your body, and we'll go over the effects on this thing. If you're new to the channel, you like stuff like that, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for the ride. So, so Madhouse Innovations Lean Appeal Pro Extreme Diet Aid. <laughs> putting the ingredient profile right in front of me, and that, they have every right to put that on their Extreme Diet Aid. I'll give you the effects on this sucker. So right on the top, we got two capsules. 30 servings. So that's not bad. And you can take this, the directions say you can take it one cap or two caps. I'll get into that because there's a difference in mood to me with from one cap to two cap. And of course the energy effects and stuff, but I honestly prefer one cap on this thing. So I did, took two caps today. So right on the top, we have some niacin at 20 milligrams. Niacin is going to help with the production of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. And it also is a NAD increaser. So it's supposed to increase NAD levels, which is going to be for energy production. Then we have caffeine and hydrous at 300 milligrams. It's a daily driver dose, but it's got some DMHA in it. So I wouldn't recommend this being a daily driver. This is going to be an adenosine blocker. So it blocks adenosine from the two adenosine receptors, A1 and A2A, which have to do with the heart and the brain. And in turn, what this is going to do is cause an effect on norepinephrine, epinephrine and dopamine and serotonin as far as raising those. That's why you feel good when you take caffeine. And you're going to be awake because you're blocking the adenosine there. Then we have DMHA at 200 milligrams. This has a PA backbone, the molecule itself. So this is going to attach to the TAR1 and TAR2 receptors to elevate norepinephrine, epinephrine and dopamine. And in turn, it's going to stay elevated because it's hypothesized to be a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. And monoamine oxidase is released in the brain to balance out chemicals in the brain. So if you inhibit that, it's going to keep those catecholamines raised for a long period of time. Another thing that raises the catecholamines off of DMHA is it's also been hypothesized to block two nerves, the presynaptic and the postsynaptic nerve. These are nerves where catecholamines can be reabsorbed into. So that's why DMHA has such a freaking long half-life. This does affect the central nervous system. So this is a central nervous system stimulant. Then we have L-tyrosine at 200 milligrams. This is going to increase dopamine by turning into L-dopa and then dopamine. And then whatever leftover dopamine is being spiked in the brain, it's then in turn going to spike uh, norepinephrine. And then an enzyme is going to come in. And when norepinephrine gets to a certain level, it's going to turn norepinephrine into epinephrine. This also has some benefits for the thyroid because of this process as well. So tyrosine works in the body in many different ways. Then we got some bacopa at 100 milligrams. I like this ingredient because it removes arterial plaque from the brain, which is helps with possible heart attacks in the long run. So it's, a, it's an ingredient that you can take that has some health benefits to the brain. It also helps the signaling between neurons because of the health factors and antioxidant, antioxidant properties with it. And it's been shown to increase or modulate serotonin and I think dopamine in the brain as well. Then we have green tea extract at 100 milligrams. So this has a combination of caffeine in it. So it has some caffeine that's going to be topped onto that 300. How much? I don't know. But it also has the polyphenols, uh, catechins and epicatechins. And epicatechins and catechins have been known to increase energy expenditure because they they signal for second messengers to start, which is, which is CAMP and cyclic GMP, which then in turn starts a process of breaking down and releasing fats and carbohydrates for energy. Then we have some grains of paradise at 10 milligrams, like this ingredient. This brings down or initiates cold thermogenesis, which then in turn is able to brown white fat. So white fat is that hard, stubborn fat that we can't really get to. It takes a long time to get to. That's that leftover fat when you're trying to lose weight. So this, this turns the white fat into brown fat. It browns it. And that's the fat. The brown fat is the fat that actually can be broken down a lot easier for energy production and energy purposes. Then we have some black pepper extract to bring it all together at 10 milligrams. And then at the end here, so you'll, you'll himbine HCL at 4 milligrams. It's a two, two pill dose. I'm going to let you guys know now, I honestly didn't feel any sides any sides as far as uncomfortable sides as far as cold sweats chills anything like that off of two pills with this thing and i'm somewhat sensitive but this is going to 
be an agonist to the alpha-2 receptors in the fat cells, which are receptors that store fat. And it's going to promote them or push them to do the opposite, which is release fat for energy purposes. And when this happens, it's going to, it's going to spike the fight or flight response system in the body, which is going to spike adrenaline. It's going to actually increase norepinephrine in the brain. And it's just basically going to do a number on your system because that's, it's telling the cells to do something that's not normal for them to do. So it's a great fat loss ingredient, energy ingredient, but the way this thing comes together, I want to talk about the mood because on two pills, I don't know if I like the mood or not, but I'm going to let you guys know. So getting right into the effects on this Lean Appeal Pro by Madhouse Innovations. So I've taken this one pill and I've taken this two pill. I prefer one pill for the mood. So let's see how this comes in. So this comes in, drops in really right around 25, 30 minutes on one or two pills. You feel it. And it seems to really peak around 50 minutes. So at 50 minutes... It's like you've got everything. You've got the energy, the cognitive function, the mood, all the all the enhancement, the fat loss benefits. They start right away. So if you take this, you go into the gym as far as fat loss wise, you will sweat. The other thing for fat loss on this that this seems to be good for is it crushes your appetite. So I'm not hungry. I do eat. So I, I eat after. I eat three hours later. I can still eat. But if I didn't think about eating, I would go without eating. So it will really damper down your appetite. So fat loss purposes, the sweating, the metabolic rate is increased. You can just tell in the gym and the, the decreased appetite on this thing is really well. So getting into the energy effects. Two pills, I love the energy for training. So I've hit the weights on two pills and it's nonstop. This is, on two pills, the energy is the get shit done type energy. So it's, there's nothing crazy. When energy comes in about 25 minutes, and along with the focus and all that stuff, there's nothing crazy that happens. No increased heart rate. This is not a, a slap to get you going, a rocket up your butt and pff, light it or anything like that. It's a really smooth climb and a smooth energy kick. But it's got this underline on, on both one, one pill and two pills, this underline like productive type energy, but not overly productive. It's just like... You could go, you can move, and you can really just get shit done. Like, you just want to keep going forward. And a lot of that has to do with how the focus comes in as well. So the energy is going to last, get that this out of the way, the energy is going to last you for a good six hours along with the, with the DMHA stimulation. So you're going to feel like energy for a long period of time. And on two pills, this thing's going to last, it's going to hang on for seven and a half to eight hours as far as the cognitive hit. So be aware, that's on two pills. One pill, the energy is a little bit less. I'd say it's probably around four hours. And then the whole shebang as far as when you kind of just dial off with the cognitive hit, it's like five, five and a half hours right around there. There's some residual afterwards though. This is some quality DMHA. So the focus on this thing, this is pure, this is a pure DMHA hit with the Yohimbine. And it's not a happy feeling and mood, which I'll get into, but the focus is deep. So on one pill, it's kind of nice. I like it. I can see people taking one pill in the morning and being able to go on their day. So I had no problem like functioning on one pill and stuff like that. It does have a high point uh, about two hours for two hours after you take it where it's really a high point, but it's not like on one pill, it's not like super, super high. It's just, it's high enough to where like you're in your head, but then you're conscious of your surroundings a little bit. And then it just hangs on. On the two pills, it's like two hours of, three hours of harsh in your head. This keeps you in the zone in your head for that long ass period of time. It really doesn't feel, because you're riding it for so long, you can't even tell when it dials down until it really dials down on two pills, which is like that six hour mark or five and a half hour mark. And then you're just like, kind of like you feel a little relief if you don't like being in your head for that long, because you're like, Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm coming down. I can feel normal in a little bit type thing. So the difference between the moods, the difference between the one pill and the two pill on both pills, you feel good. There is no dancing on this thing. Music sounds good. On uh, one pill, you can enjoy the music and you can enjoy the ride with an uplifted sense of well-being. 
But because they're combining this with so much Yohimbine on one pill, it's just kind of like this really targeted get shit done attitude and get shit done mood. And you're, you're, you're willing to do it. Like you're, you're fine. You're just going, going, going. You're doing this really productive stuff on one pill. Two pill has that productive drive to as to it as well. But for me, that four milligrams of Yohimbine hits that norepinephrine in me. And that becomes more increased than any of the other catecholamines like dopamine, which is our pleasure uh, spike there where I'm, ha I feel good, but, uh, uh, my mood is changed. I am more mood aggressive on two pills on this thing. So if you notice yourself getting that way on some of these hitters, on these combinations, this if, the, if that happens to you too, then this particular one on two pills will take you possibly to a place you don't want to be. Now, I've been taking this stuff for a long time, so I know how to control myself. But <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel good, but I get cocky on two pills, like if I let myself go. So I don't really care for the two pill hit with the Yohimbine and that extra norepinephrine kick and adrenaline kick, but it's one hell of a hitter. I'm not knocking it. This is going to affect everybody differently because of chemically we're all, we're just all designed differently. So you're going to have some people that probably leave reviews that they just love it on one and two pills and they're happy as can be. But for me, uh, one and two pills, there was no extreme happiness. It is quality DMHA because there is no other ingredient in here that's going to keep you in your head <laughs> and focused and dialed in and energetic for that long period of time. So this company puts out some real good DMHA. I'm just telling you that right now. So that's the end of the review. I can't think of anything else I can tell you about. And... Like I said, all in all, I think this is a fabulous fat burner. For those that are new to DMHA, it is not a fat burner you want to take all the time because I'll have a tendency to run DMHA products and sometimes I'm trying to knock out reviews and I'll run them straight for five days sometimes. And then at the fifth day, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Because I get nothing but like fatigue and irritation running it for that long period of time. doesn't matter if it's 100 milligrams or 200 milligrams. So when you buy this, if you're buying this for weight loss, use it sparingly. Have another product on hand that you can use if you're not working out or you want to take daily. This to me is something you take three days a week maybe, pushing it four days a week, but not freaking back to back. So that's my review. That's my two cents too. <laughs> I'm still on this, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope that was good enough information. So I just got home. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to um, get up, make some food, make some dinner, dial down, and then jump on the computer again to see what I'm going to review next. So we'll see you guys next time on the channel. Have a great night.